All right, hi folks. Welcome to another Mini Masters video. Um, I was actually looking at one of my old videos um, called "This Might Be the Greatest Morelia Deck," and um, I uh, <laughs> was thinking about uh, Morelia. Like she was kind of the first master I was really into before I found the wonders of Apep, and I wanted to make a because um, that 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 deck was the first deck that got me to master deck and so I kind of wanted to recreate it and so I was trying to do that but then I decided you know if I could hunt down the real best Morelia deck and so I put together all the top leaderboard decks and this is my homebrew and then uh Growlithon's or Growlithin his deck um kind of stood out from the rest of them because I went on a, a just a tear of this thing and um uh, I guess I can show you from my um, win loss. The other ones uh, were all pretty good. I'll, I'll show the, the top ones off from that. But um, as you can see, I went on like a, as soon as I went to the Growlithin, it went, I went nine and nine and oh, <laughs> because this is another deck right here. So uh, very good. So I want to show off some games of that. Um, I guess some honorable mention decks would be, um, I really like Yamgo's deck. This deck um, was pretty good, and I like Kiki's deck, and I kind of liked, I don't know if this was a bot or whatever, <laughs> he had some weird name, it's actually different numbers even, I just put in random numbers to, sh to show, but um, this deck was actually pretty good, but it kind of was reliant on your partner having some kind of like finisher, like the games where your partner didn't really have a finisher and didn't help you keep your dragon alive were pretty rough games but other than that this deck was actually pretty awesome um but uh Gralathan's deck definitely takes the cake though um a lot of times you'd win like in mana frenzy because you'd get your dragon and you'd just keep putting your dragon out so it is kind of a um later game deck but i do want to show off um uh, some videos from it so let us get to it. Um, so I'll just start at the, I won't, I won't show all these, but I'll, I'll show like four or five of them. I'll leave a link to the old uh, Merlea deck. That was actually before there were wild cards. So we have to switch sides here. Hold on. Always have to switch sides. <laughs> I at least want the first game for you to see it from my side. But, um. Victory. Cost. Yeah, uh, the old Merlea deck I couldn't really put together. I had to kind of improvise stuff. And uh, the Illusionary Cleaver they made, it's not quite as good as it used to be. So that's that was one of the staples on the old list. What was that? So that was actually a good play with the... Um, dragon they put <laughs> right before I cast my uh my spell there they got his buff I mean, didn't really do much but it's pretty heads up so unfortunately uh, I kind of had to figure out what to do with this Brutus I didn't want to just throw a bunch of stuff in front of him just because, you know, he would just waste anything I put in front of him. So I was kind of waiting until he started hitting the base. So this thing uh, spams out skeletons like nobody's business.
difference is you failed. All right, boom buggy. Very nice. <laughs> But we uh, tear it up right here. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> I actually like the boom bag quite a bit. I um, I I haven't played with it a whole lot actually, honestly. Um, you know, a lot of times I'm just playing the top leaderboard decks or something, and and the boom buggy usually doesn't make the cut. But um, it is fun as hell the few times I have played with it. <laughs> All right. So let's show off some more stuff here. So we will go with uh, the Sir Can't. Actually, I'll, let me show you one of the, another fast one real quick. And then I'll show you a couple of the long ones. All right. Hopefully it's from our side. It is not. Do we dare watch it from their side of things? Showtime! Yeah, why not? We'll do this one from their side of things. So this oh, guy, yeah. man, Showtime. he loves his Harbingers. It's fantastic. So, there's the first Harbinger. <laughs> the shadow intense. I wonder if this is uh, my partner for the last game. He has the boom buggy. <laughs> I'll have to look check the names. <laughs> Pretty funny. And so right now, uh, they're leading quite a bit on experience. Uh, I missed the shock rock. <laughs> Somebody cannot stop the relentless horde of skeletons. <laughs> Boom buggy plus spirit mancer plus blast mancer uh, is the end of the game here. <laughs> Which, uh, so I teamed up with somebody with a boom buggy and I played against somebody with a boom buggy. So one of those is probably the guy that I played with in the last game. We'll check the names. <laughs> Unless I just showed the same game again. I'm guessing not though. <laughs> Didn't look like the same game. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, we did team up two games in a row. Oh, that is so funny. Alright. <laughs> Right.
riding Homer 2703's boom buggy to victory both games. Thank you, Homer, for putting that in. <laughs> All right, so I'll show uh, this one right here. We'll show it from our side. Which I knew it. I knew it. I knew they were going to switch it. Let's do it. Excuse me. None of them have the will to do what must be done. I've actually kind of got a banged up knee right now, so um, my mobility is less than my mean more mini and master videos. And actually some other uh, <laughs> different games. So you know, we're playing the waiting game here, see what people are committing to. I think I stick my tongue out of them. I do. <laughs> I kind of, I think uh, here I wanted to put the gun on the other side of things, but uh, it worked out anyway. The turret, I mean, ghost turret. So, my Blastmaster, I thought, was going to do some work there, but he ended up, uh... <laughs> I am a they ended up all dying before he got there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this, this Harbinger, like, it's just the man. It stays alive forever. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me, that was my uh, partner. <laughs> so they finally take him from us, the ghost, these bastards. And shock rock to kill him. So it's nice with the, the never our breath, you can actually kind of let them overload aside and, uh, you know, gets taken care of pretty effectively usually. Dang, she went flying all the way to the other side of the board. Just spamming dudes and the little spirit uh, turret like kills werewolves pretty easy. That they're on never out of breath, which is pretty good. So we're like 40 points ahead on experience, which is cool. There's one. Yeah, this deck often uh, will get to Mana Frenzy. Very, very, uh, with all the skeletal spam too, usually like way on the favorable end of Mana Frenzy. <laughs> I was kind of hoping, uh, I was using that unholy ground right here to try to get the Stormy to shoot the lightning that way, but it didn't work. <laughs> so that was actually, uh, I wanted to keep the Harbinger alive, but he ends up staying alive anyway.
guess this really shows how nasty a harbinger could be actually <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>, this game. <laughs> Is so he's trying to ghost him again. Not this time. Not this time. So they're doing a pretty good job of like stalling my dragon here. <laughs> Trying to get to my other dragon. So, so I'm trying to cycle through stuff to get hit the other dragon. Go, Which he hasn't activated yet, I guess. I guess I should have been using that three mana spell more. away from Manny Frenzy. So there's, there's the other dragon. So now we get to just spam dragon. So we just gotta keep cycling through our deck to keep, keep getting the dragon. With the redemption, which must have been a, from a while back, because yeah, you know, this one went on a nine-win tear, so it must have been a loss I had with another Merlia deck a lot earlier. Which is kind of funny. I guess we could actually check it out. Let's see. Let's see who's that? That was this one. So Gracie. So Gracie must have beaten me somewhere in here somewhere. Did I see him? Oh, it could have been that number, I guess, too. Equals two. <laughs> I don't know. All right. But, um, so I guess I'll just show off the, the last game here, this top game. So I would highly recommend this in teams. This is a pretty good team's deck. Um, I can't can't complain with 9 and 0. 9 and 0 oh. <laughs> oh is pretty good. I like it. Show it from the double rap voice. We'll show it from ours. So, with the double rap bows, um, and, and my deck in particular, like, uh, we're spamming out lots and lots of dudes. <laughs> oh, and my partner's uh, a very similar deck to mine. He spams out lots of dudes, too. So, like, this is like, you know. 
mobs mob central here <laughs> like who can get more mobs going on you bend or you break So the, the Blast Master, I think we both have Blast Masters in our deck too. Um, they do a lot of work <laughs> in this game. I, I put the Ghost Turret there to lure that squad over so the Blast Master would take care of them. Yeah, my uh, partner having the Bothra too is pretty sweet in this matchup. That was a good ghost he did too. Yeah, these are good repo players too, man. Like, uh, <laughs> this game goes on for a crazy amount of time. Even though we have some pretty good cards against them, we both have Blastmaster, so we both have, uh, or, well, he has Mothra, and we both have Never Arch Breaths. I mean, we've got, like, crazy amounts of stuff against them, and they're still, uh, I think they're only us on experience, yeah, by 10 points. Oh, and then uh, we both have Spirit Mancers too. <laughs> we both have a lot of like nasty stuff against their deck, and they're, they're able to keep spamming stuff out and hold us off still. Yeah, those uh, defensive choppers, man, they were really uh, messing up the um, Blastmasters for doing their work. I so said the, the players that we were playing against were pretty brilliant. They obviously play a lot of Rappo. <laughs> Black Panda, 244, and Disc Lord. Right, so we got our first dragon. Sniper squad is uh, problematic. Not anymore. <laughs> I 
not sure if that was me or him that did that never Irish breath. <laughs> I think it was mine, but I think that was a pretty good one. Kind of saved the dragon there. At least for a little bit. <laughs> So my partner's deck looks like it'd be a pretty good version of this too. It looks like it's actually just a few cards off. He has the, the Wolf Among Us and Bothra, notably. Like a little more higher end stuff. our third dragon of the game <laughs> which now they both have uh, big demon warriors which is uh, nasty took care of the Stixies over there Which Stixies and uh, Rappos spam deck is just just obnoxious, really. <laughs> Alright, so we're both trying to get our next dragon out. Unfortunately, the dragon is legendary, so you can you can only have one out at a time. But what's cool about us both having copies of the dragon in our deck is we can always have a dragon out. So, like at this point, I'm figuring you know our dragons are just gonna overwhelm them eventually, even though they've got double demon warriors going on, which is disgusting. So many minions, so little die. That was actually pretty scary. Yeah. Part of it when they had the uh, that big mob coming at us, like this is pretty disgusting right here. So we finally we finally ah, got the mana frenzy. The so they were actually on mana frenzy. They they got to mana frenzy before us, so we actually survived their mana frenzy, which is pretty cool. And now our mana frenzy is a little bit better because we get dragons. <laughs> dragons and, and the dragons are a wee bit more powerful than the demon warriors because um, you can use the mobs to distract the demon warriors while the dragon does its work. Lots of never else, never, never's breath. In it, so. <laughs> so I guess their their biggest shot was the win was that big push they had on we Mana Frenzy. But, uh, we ended up pulling it out. <laughs> No, like I said, uh, again, hats off. Those guys were really good players because we had, like, all the advantages in the world on them. We had Spirit Rancers, Blast Masters, Never Arch Breath, uh, you know, and they were still able to, like, hold out forever in that game. So, really, really good players. Um, well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I do highly recommend this deck as a really 
solid, uh, really a team deck. I, I guess I think it might be the best, but uh, you know, it's results oriented, so we don't we don't know we don't know. But uh, a couple of those other decks I showed off. Um, like I said, this one I uh, highly recommend. Um, the Yamgo deck right here is really good. I'll probably leave a description of it. Um, actually, I'll, I'll leave uh, descriptions of the Yamgo, the Kiki, and um, this Bots deck. <laughs> I don't know if this is a person or not deck. I thought they were all pretty good. Um, Yamgo, Kiki, and uh, the Bots. I'm sure, the Kiki, the Kiki you guys have probably seen before. It's just a um, Zen Chi type lock them down with the zap shrine stuff but uh um anyway guys thanks for watching i'll talk to you later bye bye